So in the fall of 2015, I redesigned a victimology course that I implemented in spring 2016. And then fortunately using that experience, I have done a race, class, and gender course for this fall of 2016. Um, in a general sense, I always like to have um, a very student-oriented type of classroom, and so with implementing team-based learning using the UDL principles, um, I have really been very intentional with the designing teams, um, making the class activities very focused on that team and group learning, um, having them prepare ahead of time so that they're able to really discuss the materials in the classroom. And then sometimes I like to spring fun activities on them that they're not expecting, that they have to figure out how to solve problems in their team. So for the multiple means of engagement, um, I've really tried to use the team-based learning as the focus of that approach um, so that students develop this community orientation with their teams. Um, and in a sense, it makes them um, accountable to each other on a weekly basis so that they know that when they're given an assignment, it's not only their grade, um, but when they come together as a team, if they weren't prepared for that class period, then they're letting down their teammates as well. So it really um, encourages participation, um, preparing themselves ahead of time, showing up to all class periods, um, and really recognizing that they have um, this group interest in the classroom. So in that class, I have a lot of journaling. So, you know, I'll ask them questions about relating what they're studying. So what they're studying in the history of rock music to music today or to ideas today. So, you know, and this gets to broader cultural elements of this music. So I'll ask them to think about race issues in American history and how music relates to that. <laughs> 